what are the final outcomes of the war between Russia and Ukraine or prediction of this war for 2024? Prediction of the war, uh, 2024. I see the war going and dragging on. I think both, you know, Israel, Gaza and Russia, Ukraine will drag out through the next presidential election. I just see that it's the way it's going. Um, one, I don't think the Israelis want to try and finish the war under the Biden administration because they see the Biden administration as living in la la land um, and basically setting conditions that make it impossible for Israel to finish the war um, to appease, you know, their own democratic base and the radicals within it. Um, as you see, like, you know, um, Putin needs the cover of uh, uh, sort of the Gaza Israel war to exacerbate his war crimes and 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 and, and the whatnot. So. With better aid coming to Ukraine, I, I I I would hope to see improvements. And listen, I'm not a pilot, but if the coming of the XF-16s and the new military technology for the Ukrainians can make significant impacts in the war, I think you would get a sort of a push um, from the West to resupport. Um, the problem is the. You know, the Ukrainian offensive didn't really gain much ground on the map. So a lot of people with minimal understanding go, oh, look, they, they can't win. They don't understand that. Well, the, the more efficient tactic for the Ukrainians is to sort of fight defensively, is to make the Russians throw their assets at them and then, you know, grind the Russians down in losses and break them down that way. Instead of, you know, they're the smaller army, you know, they don't do these massive tank pushes and whatever. I mean, the Russians have the ability to, to bat those away. Um, so in order to get any massive breakthroughs, the Ukrainians are going to need new technology and new tactics. So the result of the war, to me, will depend on the success of the Ukrainian fighters and pilots to be trained on the sort of high-grade American weapons. This is where it's a bit of a dual-edged sword, sword for what Putin did. By starting the, by helping to start a war in, in Israel, he gains cover and not as many people are going to talk about Russia and Ukraine, so it lets him do whatever he wants in Ukraine with minimal blowback. However, as I said, one of the effective things the Russians managed to do in in installing the, uh, the weapons aid to Ukraine is, oh, if we give, you know, if they give them weapons that could reach Moscow, this will, you know, again, escalate the war. How do you escalate a full-scale war? I don't know. Do you get a double full-scale war? Is it going to be a super-duper war? Um, an extra war, war plus. Well, there's not a lot, of, like a lot of the the negative stuff relied on, you know, let's be honest, ding dongs in in the West going, oh, we're going to escalate. We can't give X, Y, and Z to Ukraine. Well, now that all those ding dongs are screaming about Jews right now, so you can give the Ukrainians F-16s, you can give them more ATCMs, you can give them long range weapons, you can give them the weapons they need to win the war, and the lunatics who are doing the screaming are probably going to be screaming about Israel while you're doing that. So the sort of social, political, emotional blackmail that, that the Russian um, propagandists were using to deter, uh, you know, actual high-grade weapons coming to the Ukrainians, their ability to do that is also diminished. So yes, they will have more cover to commit war crimes in Ukraine. The other end of that is the Western governments, if they have brains, please, We'll, we'll figure out that, okay, now is actually the time that we can actually send the weapons we wanted to send. And then and the generals have been saying, you have to send these weapons or else you're not doing anything. Um, so time to, to do that while people are screaming about Israel.